Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla surprise fold. And actually, I actually have a special guest with me today. We finally have Miami back, even though she's trying to run away as fast as she can. But I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now, we're going to be starting off with our Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla surprise fold. And this was a no contest in the voting. You guys voted over 80% wanted to see this. So I hope you guys enjoy. Now let's start off by getting our paper ready. So I'm going to take my paper and I want to fold it in half just like a birthday card. So we're going to take this, fold it in half, line up the corners, and then just give it a nice crease down the side. This way it'll look like a card. Now once we're done with this, I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to fold it in half again. So let's just line it up and we're going to fold it in half one more time. So it's going to kind of look like a bookmark. Now we want to take this and we want to open this up and I'm going to kind of flatten down this one side. And now we have a nice surprise fold. And the reason I've been doing this is because I like to have this extra line. It's a good little marker to show where everything is so we don't accidentally fold too much or draw down into the area. Now let's start off by drawing our two characters. Let's begin with Godzilla first. So I'm going to start right about here and we want to draw the eye. So to do this, let's just draw a line that's going to go down, and then we're going to come back like a check mark. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go down, and we'll just curl it up here. And I'll make this line come over a little bit farther. Now starting here, we're going to draw this line. We're going to go up and then down. And I'll go up and down again, and one more here. We're going to make this actually look like the 1994 Godzilla, not quite the 2021 Godzilla that we've been drawing. Next, I'm also going to go and draw a little line underneath the eye. Maybe I'll put a second one right there. Now, starting up here above the eyebrow, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to go up and down. I'll draw another one that goes up and down. Then we'll start to bring this down. We'll go kind of curve it down and in, and then we'll go right to the end of the paper. Next, we're going to make just a little line that just comes right underneath there. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to curve up a little bit. I'll draw another one right here. Starting here, let's draw a line that's going to come up and down for the nose. Then right here, we'll draw a little line that's going to curve down. Starting here, we'll draw a line that's going to come down, and then I'll bring it in like this. Starting here, we'll draw a line that's going to come down, and then we'll go up a little bit. I'll bring this over and curve it up. Starting here, we'll draw a line that goes down and in for the neck. Go down and in again. And one more right down here. Right inside of here, we'll add a little hook shape for the nose. Now back here, this Godzilla actually has some ears that stick out. So let's just make a little line that's going to come up, and then we'll bring it down here. Next we'll add a little curved line and a line that comes up. Starting here, I'm going to add a little line that comes down. And I'm going to add a couple more little lines that curve down like this, just for a little bit of detail. I'm also going to add a little tall oval shape. We'll add a little circle shape in there, and then we'll just color in the oval.
Now let's work on Space Godzilla. So I'm going to kind of line up the eyes a little bit. We'll start right about here. We'll make a line that goes down, and then it's going to come up like this for a check mark. We'll draw a little line that's just going to go down, and then it's going to come up for the eye. Right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up, and then it's going to come down. Then I'll make a long line that's going to go up, and it's going to come right to this line here. Starting right here, we'll draw the nose. So we'll begin by making a line that's going to go out and then down. We'll make another one that's going to go up and down. Then I'll draw a little line that's just going to go down and then in. Then I'll draw a little line that's going to come down here to the fold. Inside of here, we'll add a little curved line for the nostril. Starting here, I'm going to draw this line down, and then we'll bring it in. Then we'll draw this line down, and we will come up. Next, I'm going to bring this line over, and we'll come up towards the fold. We'll stop right before we get to the fold. Now, starting up here, we want to add that big, tall crystal that he has on his head. So we'll start here, and we'll draw a line that's going to come up and down. Then we'll make another line that goes out, and then it's going to come down here. Now, starting here, we'll draw a little line that goes down and then in. And we'll make another one that just goes down to the end to show some of his little spikes. Right here, let's draw a little line that comes down and another one here for the eyes. And back here, let's draw a little line that's going to go up and down for the ear. With a little kind of curved line in there. Right here, we'll draw another oval shape with a little circle in it, and we'll just color in the oval. Starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down and curve in, and we'll just draw a couple more for the neck. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that goes up, and then it's going to come down and curve around. And right up here, we'll draw a little line that goes down. It's going to come up and curve around for come, kind of like some extra little kind of teeth coming out of there. Then we'll add a couple little curve lines around here just to make it look like it's sitting in there. I'm also going to add a couple of these little curved lines on the face. Now, once we have that part complete, we want to open it up and draw the inside. Now, first, let's start with Godzilla. So I'm going to take this line right here, and we're going to draw it down past this little fold line. And then I'm going to draw a line that's just going to come all the way back to here. Next, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down. Then starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to come up. And we'll just bring it over right to here and connect it. I'll draw a little line right here with a couple little lines inside of here for part of the mouth. And then I want to draw the teeth. To make the teeth, I'm just going to make some little V-shapes on top. 
and some sharp pointy V shapes on the bottom here. Starting here, let's make the tongue. We'll draw a line that's going to come down. We'll go up and then bring it back down to here for the tongue. Then I like to add a little extra line right here. You can see I'm doing it right underneath that fold. And then I'll put a little extra line over here for some more detail. Now for Space Godzilla. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down about the same distance. We're going to make a line that's going to come back here. Then starting here, we'll draw a line that goes up and we'll bring it over. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down and then connect. And we'll make a little line here with a couple little curved lines. Now for Space Godzilla, I'm going to add a few little smaller teeth and then like a bigger one in front the cup with another smaller one. And we'll do the same thing down here. Some smaller teeth, a bigger one, and then another small one. And starting here for the tongue, we'll draw a line that's going to come down. We'll go up and then back down. Starting here, I'm going to make a little curved line for part of the mouth and another little line up here. And starting right here, I'll just draw a little line that comes down just to show a little bit more detail on him. And there you go. There is your drawing of Godzilla versus Space Godzilla in a surprise fold form. So when you have it all closed up, you have the two Godzillas staring at each other. And then when you open it up, they have their mouths wide open, getting ready to attack. And I'm going to actually draw their blasts in here. And I'm going to make a blue one for Godzilla. And I'm going to do kind of like a yellow, orange, red one for Space Godzilla. But there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.